Faxverse presents Boy Digs Under His Yard, Then Finds Maps and Goes Looking. Before we get started, make sure you subscribe and click that notification bell so you never miss a single video. Adventure. Children love adventures. Look at the kids in the movie Goonies. The kids had the time of their lives searching for a treasure to save their homes. One little boy got to live his own real-life treasure hunt, and for him, it was incredible. April 2017. In April 2017, the treasure hunt started. The little boy's father wanted to document the whole thing on Imgur under the screen name This Way and That Way. He uploaded pictures of the entire treasure hunt for his followers to see. The little boy is a fan of Star Wars and is six years old. You can tell by the look on his face, he's really excited about the adventure he's about to go on. The first clues. The treasure map came with two clues. There were two pieces of paper and a spiral-shaped object. Find the words was written on one of the pieces of paper. There are strange symbols drawn onto the second piece of paper. It was hard to tell how the two clues were related, but fortunately the boy had his father there to step in to help. When the boy's father folded the paper that had the symbols drawn on it, they discovered a message and the first critical clue. Under the steps. The message on the clue read, under the steps. As soon as the little boy's father read it to him, he ran outside to look under the front steps of his house. When he got there, he found a suitcase. The little boy pulled it out from under the steps and he opened the suitcase. Inside were two slips of torn paper and a piece of a treasure map. The two pieces of paper were interesting because they were covered with random letters. The little boy had to figure out what they meant. Following a pattern. The letters on the paper weren't random. It didn't take long for the father and son to figure out that the letters followed a pattern. Find the words was written on one piece of paper and there was an arrow. The boy asked his father to help, and they took the arrow and transferred it to one of the slips of paper that had letters on them. When they did this, they created a radius of a circle. Things were getting more and more interesting for the pair by the second. It was a big step to finding the next clue. Front bush. When the father and son cracked the clue, it read, front bush. The boy immediately knew that it meant to check the bushes in his front yard. He ran to the front yard, and it led him to many more clues. Fortunately, the boy had his father there to help him uncover the clues and figure out what each of them meant. The search for the treasure was really heating up at this point. A confusing clue. Under one of the bushes was a piece of paper with a confusing message. It read, the treasure is shining through two swords. Along with the words were drawings of two swords. The little boy couldn't figure out what this meant. What made things even more confusing was that the clue didn't have anything in common with the ones that they already found. To find the meaning of the clue, the little boy had to keep exploring. Ships. When the little boy continued to explore under the bushes, he found a piece of paper. It was frayed around the edges, and in the middle were pictures of several ships that crashed into the rocks. What made this piece of paper even more unique was that there were square-shaped holes cut into the picture in different spots. It was a message, but the little boy didn't know what they meant. His father had an idea, which took them to the next clue. Turning the paper over. The meaning of the clue wasn't apparent at first. Instead of giving up, the little boy turned the paper over to see it in a different way. This was the aha moment for both of them. There was a strange pattern on the back of the picture. The boy and his father took the other two clues to see if they were necessary to figure out the next part of the message. The little boy realized he would need all the clues that he found to move on. The key. The two placed the paper with the letters on it behind the boat picture. They used the weird swirl-shaped key on the page to figure out where the right position of the paper was. This is when things got more exciting. What seemed like a useless clue was the next step to finding the treasure. The little boy got more excited to find the buried treasure. He knew he was just a few clues away. Lining things up. It took a few minutes, but finally the boy and his father managed to get the picture lined up correctly. The words in the squares actually spelled something. It read, under the stairs. The boy was confused since he had already looked under the stairs, but the map said to go back, and the little boy wanted to go back. He ran back to the front steps and went underneath. The boy found the final pieces of the map. After laying out the pieces of the map, he discovered that there were different images. They were camels, oceans, and sand dunes. Things were getting more confusing for the boy, but he had his father right by his side. A familiar place. After looking at the map for a few minutes, the boy realized that each picture symbolized familiar places around his house. There was a picture of a house which the boy knew was his. The ocean symbolized the lake down the street from the house. The camels and the sand dunes symbolized the sandbox in the backyard. There was also a picture of the garage and the swing set in the backyard. The swords. 
There were plenty of clues for the boy to look at, but he was a bit confused by one. He wasn't sure what the clue with the two swords meant, and how it fit in with the other clues. Fortunately, the little boy had his father there to help him figure it out. He knew it would take teamwork if they were going to find the buried treasure. The boy's father suggested they put the clue with the two swords on top of the sun. By placing the clue in the right position of the map, they managed to find the location of the treasure. This excited the little boy more than anything. After all the time he had put into the treasure hunt, he was finally going to reap the reward. Right in the yard. When the boy and his father put the parchment paper over the map, they realized that the treasure was buried very close by. It was on the west side of the house, and the boy took off to the location that was shown on the map. This was shaping up to be the greatest adventure of the little boy's life. Time to dig. When the boy got to the location, his dad gave him a yellow shovel so he could start digging. It didn't take long before the shovel hit something hard that wasn't dirt. The little boy's heart jumped when he realized he found the treasure. He kept digging and pulled out a small wooden box from the ground. The Excitement When the boy pulled the box out of the ground, he was beyond excited. He couldn't believe that he and his father had used clues to figure out where the box was. Now it was time to open the box, and it was beyond exciting. The treasure. The little boy was shocked when he opened up the box. The chest contained coins, a pearl necklace, a silver plate, and many other shiny treasures. In the boy's eyes, the treasure was worth a fortune. Finding the treasure was the goal, but following the clues was the real fun. A great dad. The treasure hunt was something that was planned by the boy's father. He planted the clues and he buried the treasure. He figured it would be an excellent way for them to spend time together. In today's world, when kids of all ages rely on technology and devices to have fun, this was an excellent way for the father to get his son unplugged and outside doing something fun. This is something that more parents should do. Not only did they have family fun together, but they were able to have fun outside. The look on the boy's face when he found the treasure is proof it was the most excellent adventure of his life. This boy digs under his yard and finds maps and goes looking. It was a day the family will never forget. Which part of the story was your favorite? Let us know in the comments. And be sure to subscribe to Facts Verse for more great videos.